Hello everyone, and welcome back to Life is a Game, where we are currently following our little family, trying to figure out what the future for these tiny little babies is going to be, as we carry on with one of my favorite games. I have to admit, I always love it. I love reflecting on it. I love when you get to the end. I love that you just don't know what's going to happen every time. You just kind of yeet one of these babies into life, cross your fingers that it's going to be okay, and take advantage of whatever opportunities appear. Uh, and we're going to dive back in, and I'm beginning to I think that I am going to be so much more in love with this game than I thought because I get so addicted to it so easily. So we're probably going to have a fun time and I kind of want to give this family a name. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try to come up with a cool last name for this family and then follow their generations and I might even end up making them in Sims. And every time we start a new life, instead of just like picking whoever I feel like the male or the female as the lead, we're going to roll a dice and see what the next baby is going to be. So our founding generation was a wonderful mother who ended up uh, like dedicating her everything to like the life of, of her family. And she was pretty happy about that. And she had an okay experience as a teacher where a lot of her students felt that she was a great teacher, but she never really had her heart in it. She felt like she never really dedicated any of herself to any of her hobbies. She ended up like kind of being a lonely gourmet who, gourmet, who just like ate out on her own while she was trying to visit with her friends a lot. And she ended up really sad at the end of her life, which was not what I intended to do. But thanks to the gains that she was able to make over the course of her life, we did manage to go ahead and snag enough of the special diamonds that we could unlock a few things for the next generation. Like the fact that we might find more art pieces, so there might be more opportunities in the next generation's life to turn into an artist. And we went ahead and we added in the new job of being an artist so that like increased painter income will possibly show up just to cross our fingers and kind of hope that maybe like her passion for hobbies that she never got to really experience will be passed on into the next generation. So we got to give these guys names. I'm pretty excited about that. I might go ahead and make a list of names and just like pluck from it with each generation. And I might take some notes on what happens and maybe I will make like a Sims challenge in the future to make a family where the things that happen over the course of their like generations have to line up with like what happened each generation. We'll see. I think that could be a fun challenge. So with all of that said, time to have a new baby and it's gonna be a girl all right let's do this okay so we want to make her super happy early on which means come on our first mom was really a great mom she took good care of us let's see how many happiness opportunities we might have because the more we're taking care of as the little baby the happier we might be okay and now that we're a little older all right, let's just go absolutely hog wild with all the painting, because I think that would be really fun. Oh dear, I missed that, okay. All right, we're gonna paint a little more so we're super happy. We're gonna be nice. I should have grabbed that one, but I wanted her to be a little smart. We missed out on being super smart though. Dang it. All right, and then let's go for art again, because no, I didn't choose any hobbies. Oh, this is not good. Okay, so we were rejected for friendship by that one girl. Let's see if we get rejected by this girl. Ah, rejected again. Oh no. Okay, we got one new friend. What about here? Okay, oh look, and I think we can call our friends. Okay, I wasn't able to save our teacher. Okay, we've been studying so hard, but we got a couple new friends. We have a ton for the art. <gasps> look, I think she's gonna be an artist after all. All right, we gotta get some friendship up. Oh no. I might need to start avoiding a few. Oh good, good, good. All right, we need a little more food because otherwise I don't think we're gonna be too happy. And we're gonna need at least a thousand gold. Okay, I'm gonna have to like avoid overworking from here on out. Oh geez, okay. Call a friend, call a friend. Need help. Okay. I should be calling our friends like every time that fills up. I keep forgetting that. Do I have enough? Okay, we have enough for the fancy. Okay, do I have enough for, okay, we have enough for the cheaper car. So now we're gonna have to work kind of hard 
again. Oh, I should have called our friends again. Okay, we're gonna try to call our friends again, but we have literally no hobbies, which concerns me. All right, what about this guy? What about this guy? What about this? Wait, this guy looks just like our dad. Dang it. <laughs> we fell for literally the same guy because I just panicked. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so funny. All right, well, we'll try to have a strong family life there. Okay, she's much happier now. That's a good thing. And then can we have a cute little, okay, so cute little romance moment. All right, she is definitely a painter. And then we'll call family again. <gasps> they don't have any kids this time. Okay, so I, I guess we're gonna have to say, oh, look, look, look. Is this for babies? Okay, I think we donated to like children. All right, we're super happy in life now. Um, let's go ahead. Easy, isn't it? So I think we're becoming slightly famous. Okay, we're getting a little older, so it's harder to move around. Yeah, it's it's actually, look, it's harder to move around. Oh no, it's because we ate too much. <laughs> That's why it's harder to move around. Oh dear. Well, we got a whole bunch of money. All right, let's call friends again. So we can pick a fancy house. Spectacular. Wow, we love, look at us, we're living it up. It looks like we're doing a little better. Let's call our friends again. Oh, 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 I should have helped out. I didn't help out. Oh no, my health, I died so early this time. <laughs> ah, okay, I feel like we, that went a little fast. Oh my gosh. And I, I guess we're going to have to say that the next generation is going to be like a niece or nephew she leaves all the money for. I didn't have any hobbies again. She lived as a wealthy painter, but was she really happy? She couldn't afford to have a hobby because she, she made painting her, her work and that was all. Okay, so we listened to our friend's problems at times. She was cold towards the world, but warm towards her husband. Oh my goodness. That wasn't my goal. Okay, people remember us as a good person, though. All right. But, like, all of you throughout my life, I was so thankful. Oh, okay, good. That's a better ending than the first one. As expected, there was no place like home. So she was happy. I sublimated, what, the pain of him right into the work, what, of my art? I was just sitting down too long and then uh, got them somehow, oh dear. So she overworked herself, but not to the point that she like died of stress. I did just as much as any would, one would, nothing more. We were able to get the fancy flowers. You did well, buddy. See, she liked her car. So she, I feel like that painting kept me up and hungry for so many nights. All that work paid off and I became a somewhat popular painter. So that was a successful outcome. There could have been unsuccessful outcomes. When will we have shots again if I leave now? Should have seen you a bit more. They're, you're just kids. When, uh, no, when will you have like candy again? Honestly. All right, so she really did like her friends. Uh, she didn't turn out as miserable and sad. Oh, she really misses her mom. <laughs> so that turned out a little better. We're now up to level seven. We have 46 gems because we unlocked a whole bunch of things. So I think that the second generation's life went really well. She didn't end up having any kids. Uh, she ended up with like a, a famous painting life, but she didn't have any hobbies again. Oh my gosh. So should we save some of our money this time? Should we unlock something new? Uh, let's see, like soccer player, office man. Uh, her, let's see, high class restaurant, office worker, event chance increase. So there's lots of different events we haven't stumbled on just yet either. Um, you can end up becoming a doctor, a soccer player, a housekeeper, a professor, a worker. I feel like a streamer, which we need to save like a lot of things for. Um, I feel like this woman, if she left anything to like her nieces and nephews, might want to go ahead. And I feel like maybe because she had, maybe because she had so much money. Yeah, let's do that one. We're going to say she left behind a bunch of money to the next generation. And there we go. Oh, look, it's the baby with a golden spoon. <laughs> oh, that's too cute. Oh, we're going to have a boy this time, you guys. All right, so we're gonna play as the third generation real quick, and it's going to be her nephew. So let's actually see how this plays out real fast. <gasps> Look, he's a little Bob Ross baby. 
the more babies you unlock, so this is gonna be her nephew, the more babies that you unlock, the more like opportunities and odds of special random events showing up. All right, I think we made him pretty happy. I feel like we didn't get as many happiness from that. So let's take care of our, our siblings a little bit. Oh, what's this? Oh, I've never seen that little car before. All right, I feel like we're missing out on some of the smarts. So we're not gonna be super smart, but we were really nice. Um, and let's go for music, maybe? Okay, so we're gonna try to have a musical hobby. This is her nephew. Um, and then we'll try to grab like as much of the music as possible. Is he gonna be friends? All right, sweet, we got a new friend here. New friend over here. Sweet, okay, so her nephew is like really popular, it seems. Um, we'll call some friends. Oh, I missed out on the choice. Ah, I missed out on the special coin that we could have gotten. Oh wait, I forgot what we're going for. He got distracted. He's got lots of friends, you guys. We're going to college, but I don't remember why. All right, he's gonna try to take part in some of his hobbies. All right, let's gather a bunch of gold, but we also need a bunch of happiness. Oh, somebody needs help. All right, her nephew is like really kind, even to the cost of like his own, his own, oh no. Her nephew is a bumbling, kind person who's doing his best. We're not earning a lot of money because we're just like an office worker this time. Oh dear. Oh no, we don't have enough money for fancy flowers or anything. Oh wait, we do, we do, we do. All right, we'll get the fancy flowers. And we literally cannot afford any of... He's just like a menial office worker. But you know what? Public transportation is still a good thing. Oh, no. Okay, we need to make him a little happier. Oh, geez. Here comes the pressure. All right, maybe in the music. Do you like music, too? Oh, sweet. She likes music. All right, you guys. We found love. She looked like she was enjoying music. Uh, so we'll dedicate ourselves pretty hardcore to, like, music stuff. Because I want to have somebody who has some happy hobbies for once. And then we should dedicate ourselves somewhat to family. But first, oh, look, they're gonna have a baby! All right, maybe he's gonna work really hard at the office worker job. <gasps> look, his little kid loves music too! Okay, maybe it's a good thing we've been doing so much music. All right, let's hop out here. Oh, the guy got really mad, okay. There, all right, we've got like green on the music. We're pretty happy. Gotta be careful not to eat too much. Oh, definitely gonna help out. He's always trying to help. He's always so kind. Oh, even, oh, he finally got something. All right, let's call our wife. We ate too much. Oh wait, I wanted that help. Okay, I've got to look out for more opportunities. Maybe that's what it'll be. He'll be like, son, you really need to work on more opportunities for your health. So maybe that'll be what he focuses on. We can't afford anything. He wasn't able to afford any of his own housing because he spent so long, like his entire life, just trying super hard to help people out. And he's, I, I wasted an opportunity on his music thing. All right, what's this? And... Ah, oh, his radio blew up in his face! But look, he gets to spend a little bit of time with his grandson! <gasps> Oh, and he got to like help his grandbaby out. That's so sweet, you guys. All right, so, oh wait, no, no, no. Oh, the clocks, the clocks are bad. <gasps> no wonder I was dying so early the last couple generations. And we don't really have a lot of gemstones to leave to the next generation either, whoops. But he was a good man. He he played with his grandchildren and cared about them a lot. He got to give them hopefully a little bit of a boost in life. We'll have to see how that translates. He really struggled. He lived as a poor office worker because he just could never, he was helping everybody else, too, else out too much and could never really get his own job going. Oh, he was focused on playing the guitar, but he was really happy. He kept his distance from his friends. Oh. He was a good husband and father. I'm glad we managed that one at least. People remembered him as a good man.
thank goodness. At least we've been like a good family like this whole time. But we've, we've, other than like the aunt who didn't have kids, all of you throughout my life, I was so thankful. Uh, <laughs> that's when they're cutest. Yeah, he seems to have been a good grandfather. He tried, but he really struggled. He wasn't, I, feel, I felt pity watching the old man break a sweat. But I feel like he never really got, I was able to stay strong because I had my family. He never really got very high up the ranks. I did as much as you would one, nothing more. I love how it turns out so differently. I prepared so hard for the presentation. They didn't seem to like it. I helped because she looked tired. We're both the youngest in the company. Oh, and then he gets to say goodbye to his friends. You don't, you really don't change. So we had a lot of friends actually, and yet we never really interacted with them. I couldn't see or hear anything around me when I was playing. <laughs> and there we go. Back down through time. Everyone knows there's no such thing as a perfect life. It's all right because I was happy. And a little bit of happy reflection. So there we go, you guys. And now we're up to level eight. Oh my gosh. Oh, and we got 27 gems. Maybe that's something. Not enough to really leave a big impact, but at least it's something. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I really love it because it makes me just feel so reflective every time. And I really look forward to seeing where generation four is going to be going for this family and just like how many levels we end up going up and how many trophies we might end up unlocking. Have we unlocked any other like trophies yet? Let me check. <gasps> we unlocked the art trophy. Nice. Oh, and what's this one? <laughs> Overwhelming gratitude. Uh, we also unlocked some other trophies, but that was mostly like generation two with our aunt. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our little family. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.